Good morning everybody. This is John Scarborough and Savannah Scarborough. I wanted to do a little discussion today. I wanted to talk about this right here. This is my favorite way to do a ratchet strap to take care of the excess. There's always an excess on your ratchet strap. And of course this is ratchet strap. We've already loosened it up some, but I wanted to explain why because I've already showed people this method and told you why or I told you that I think this is my favorite reason or my favorite way to do this and what I want to do is I want to show you why that's my favorite way so Savannah if you'll come over here real quick we're we just brought this low to 10 in here and that's why I've, I've decided I'm gonna just kind of show you all this method it's a good opportunity pull this out Savannah this right here guys this is the way that I used to do this and this is the way a lot of guys still do it here back up get out of the light for a second Savannah this is the way a lot of guys still do it and there's other ways there's all sorts of different methods people will do to take care of the excess stuff I and mean, you got to do something with it so a lot of people will do this I was one of them now of course I didn't do it like this because that's obviously easy to slip out but I did it something similar to this and I did it in a way that it was pretty safe but I have seen it come out I've seen guys, I'll be driving down the road behind them or something, and I'll see that come out. Well, once it comes out, what's it do? It goes all there. It can go down there, get wrapped up in your duels, wherever. End up wrapped around an axle, whatever. So there's a lot of different ways to do it. <clears throat> I'm going to trade the camera here with Savannah, and I'm going to try to show you all what exactly, how, why this is my favorite method. All right. So first, guys, I'm going to go back over here with Savannah, and I'm going to show you how to do it in case you haven't seen it. Okay, so you've got your excess just like this. You want to pull it out nice and straight. Make sure it's not twisted anywhere. Go ahead and start your circle. It can be kind of big or small. It doesn't really matter. You can come in a little bit closer to Savannah and slow and show us this. It can be a little bit bigger or smaller. That's a good spot to start. Just make sure you can get your hands in is all you're worried about. Okay, and then you can do it like this. You can do it whatever. You're just trying to get this rolled up. But I, I like this because it's pretty fast. It's not hard to do. Kind of keep it halfway straight while you're rolling it up. Okay, get it to where you've got just enough room. You really want it to be about as snug as it can get. I usually like to bind down just a little bit more, get it a little bit more tight once I kind of get it down in there. This is an old wore out strap, so it's not, it's not quite as nice as the new one, but they usually work good just no matter what. So what you do is you grab it like this, once you get it rolled in, you want about this much. This is snug, but you want about this much, okay? Grab you a little bit right here and put you a little bit through. Put you a nice loop through there. All you're doing is looping that through, that excess. Kind of like It's kind of like a lark's head knot. You loop that through, and then you take that loop, that excess, and you're going to loop over top of all of this right here. Nothing fancy. You don't have to make it look pretty. This is not bearing a load. This is not bearing a, a knot because we've all been taught that if you put a knot or a twist or something like that in a strap, it will break. All right. This is not bearing a load. You can do whatever you want with this. Okay. Now you pull tension down on that and you see right in here, you see you've created a knot there. That cannot go anywhere. It doesn't matter what it does. I mean, you can throw it right there. You can throw it over the side of your trailer. You know, I usually do take it, put it somewhere, something like that, so it's not flying around, whatever. But it cannot get away. I've never had one of these get away. No matter what you do to them, they can't get away. All right. Now, come down here. Savannah, back up a little bit where we can kind of see everything. Come down here, and we're, I'm going to show you a couple reasons why I like this method. Okay, why this is my favorite method. <clears throat> okay, now, say... Say for a minute that you're hauling a bunch of hay, but you can back up a little bit, Savannah. Say you're you're hauling a whole bunch of hay. It's all the same type loads. Like you're hauling three or four loads of hay. You're going to stack it just the same. It's for the most part, it's exactly the same length. It's going to be the same length strap. Well, if you do it any other way, you're going to have to retake care of that excess every single time. Like this, if it's the same size load, like. You can even use this in a, as a good, for instance. If you were hauling multiple loads like this, whatever you're doing, I know guys that they do this for a living. They haul, literally just haul loads of metal like this, and a lot of times it can be the same size. If you're hauling the same size load, you literally don't have to readjust. You throw that back, you get that, pull it loose, you've got just enough excess there, 
take your strap off, you can throw it off just like that. And then once you're ready to restrap, you just rehook it just like that. You never take this loose if it's the same size load. Okay? You rehook that back in like that, and you're back good to go. You're ready. You're ready to go. All right. Now, let's say for a minute that you hook that back in there and it's not quite long enough. Let's say it needs or, or it's too long or not quite long enough. It's not very hard. Get that pulled in there. It's not very hard to get that readjusted. You just pull that out just like that. Okay. Now, you can A, roll it up tighter, unroll it a little bit more, whatever. It's not hard to do. It's already mostly done. You can bring your adjustment. You never have to re-unroll this, ever. Okay. Pull that back through. Not hard to do. Bring it back around. Tight. It's also the fastest way that I've seen it. You know, I'm probably not going to leave that much hanging there, but my, I'm making a point here. You can readjust this any way you want it. It's not difficult to do at all. Now, another great thing about doing this is once you're done, the other way, any other way that you do this, once you're done, you're going to have to store your straps. Well, I used to be the guy that I'd fold this up, you know, and then I'd put this around here somewhere, you know, might put it around the other way. And I'd wrap it all up, take me 15, 20 minutes, whatever, I don't know. Or another way I've seen guys do it, and I used to kind of do this sometimes, is I pull this whole strap off of here, roll this up really neat, throw it in your box, and when you pull it out of your box, it's halfway unrolled, unless you create perfect slots. Nothing wrong with that, it's great. But with this, it's already preset. You literally just take this, you get your box. It, no, it's not quite perfect. All right, let's just throw that off of there for a minute. You don't have to worry about that. That's done. Okay. Pick up your strap. And you don't have to worry about your excess ever coming back loose. All of that's done. You can get you 15, 20 of these straps. Like I said, if I'm hauling something a long way, I get me a bunch of these straps. They're there. They're already there. I mean, it looks like a mess, but it ain't bad. It's not bad at all because it's already made up. It's, it's adjusted for that size load. Okay, now I could sit here and I could talk for a thousand years about other reasons why I like this. But honestly, to me, it's self-explanatory. Some of you guys, you're going to reject this instantly. You probably already clicked off of this video. You're not going to like it. You're going you're gonna to be old trusty. You're going to like, you know what? That works over there. I don't care if it flies loose. I know that I'm good enough. It's not ever going to happen. But some of you guys are going to get some value out of this. You're going to see this. You're going to realize how quick it is. You're also going to realize that it cannot come loose no matter what you do flying down the road it can't come loose that's the safest way that i know of to do it right there all right guys so i really hope that that helps i just wanted to put that out there where some people can actually get some good out of it i've already shown a video of how to do it okay but i wanted to really help justify why i'm doing this show you a good reason to do this and the reason is because i've had so many people see this and say no no, it's not worth doing. I don't like it, this, that, the other. I, honestly, I think it's because people can't remember how to get it back loose again. Because if they ever see me do this, they can't figure out how to get it loose. And it's not that hard. So I'm going to show you one more time for anybody who did not see it. Okay, this one's already made a mess of it. Okay, pull it off. Like that. Go back through the hole. Not hard. All right. Make your loop. Roll it up. Everybody knows how to do that part. Because they've spent tireless hours sitting there rolling it up every time. So you already know how to do that. Take it. Put it through your hole. Not hard to do. Make your loop. Stick your hand through. Grab it. Pull it. Cinch it down. You're there forever. Like and subscribe for more.